Oh god. Both Sarleon and Char are in a really bad position. I'd say. I ask this guy where the king is. Where the marshal is. Emrim? What the hell is that? Oh, they are going to besiege Abadar Castle. Never mind. Okay, can we tell him now to go for Valor Shield or something? Where the hell is he going? Okay, I guess we can't like tell him what to do. Where the f Okay. Yeah, run into the fucking river. Unfortunately, right now, since I disbanded most of my troops, I can't really go and grab Valor Shield by myself. We are gonna start losing money pretty quick. Okay, what do we need to do? Here's Salon. Where's where's this one? Right, let's go Sarleon first and there are other ones. No, come on, Older. We're your friends, don't attack us. Although, will they catch him? Oh, wait. No, 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 move, move. Ah, shit. Missed an opportunity there. Okay, never mind. The quest was cancelled. Actually, scout out how many troops that they have in these castles. Five. Oh, Jesus Christ. Four hundred. Okay, maybe once he moves out, I can actually tell how many troops there are there. The Nolor just kill off the enemy too fast. Twenty-four longer down bowmen. How? Oh. Yeah, I would need more archers to actually take that. One fears win. Oh, come on. have the money uh, maybe I shouldn't have already spent all my troops maybe I should have taken a sit castle first for myself oh this is nice actually I can just leave them to patrol around what oh my fucking god look at all these bandits Aria has been besieged again. Never mind, let's go back. Yeah, don't mind if I just... 
They're gonna go for my village, are they? Yup. So much for that. mind for fuck's sakes man actually you know what Let's see if we can grab some of them to come with us oh the king perfect with the king we could take over anything basically since he has the mercenary group with him So much for the village. Oh shit. Not gonna be able to besiege that while the army is still there. Or if the Noldor just ran. Oh god damn it, that's gonna suck ass. have to reset because we go for the first one. Gonna suck ass if the Nolo run into us right now. Which might as well happen. Although they should be running away from us too. Should. The only six hours. That should be quick. archers up here. This is why this is the easiest one to take. You can just leave your archers here and they're gonna destroy everything on the walls. And as they spawn in and come from the hill over there. Okay, let me just tell my companions to fuck off if they spawn in. Hopefully I'm gonna get the Valor Shield. Although we're gonna have problems with the Jet 2 and the Noldor all, all over us constantly. But I'm gonna somehow manage. Okay, so yeah, the banner I added looks nice. It is a little bit cropped at the top, but still. Not too bad. in them out a little bit. Once we get through the first like elite 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 enemies for hundred that's gonna be easy. And I think this is one of the only settlements that actually has three ladders to get up to. Three different places not like right next to each other too. Which is nice. Okay, I think it's time to attack. Mm, maybe I should take some of them on a flanking mission this way. We need to take out those archers.
Actually, I might not even need them since, you know. Most of these can't even do damage to me unless they shoot me with an arrow. What the f all right there's some more over there can we jump over this oh we can nice finally well, okay. something you can jump actually jump over it and get the enemy there might be some stuck in there and yeah, now good Well, our guys are stuck there for some reason. Let's actually make the move into the castle. somewhere probably spawned in and got stuck in a wall or he's just running into the wall I need one more intelligence to read the last book. Let's actually take all these and leave them as garrison too. to sit here for a while so it doesn't get taken okay that was easier than I thought Might actually be better if I test if I just tell him to go there and defend. Maybe not. Let him go wherever then. Although I wouldn't be surprised the whole Sarleon army just arriving here or the Box army. I guess that's the problem. When you take over a castle yourself, you need to leave all, you need to put all the garrison in it. Yeah, I won't just dump it in there. be 
be shit if he, they just pass us up for the... Give it, pass us up and give it to someone else though. I think we should have enough time to get back here. And our armor is ready too. How many troops does he have? Oh, oh god damn it. One and a half game. Fucking bastards. Okay, we only need to worry about one army coming after us this time. So the Falcon. Okay, sell him this book. Let's go over there. Okay, good, nice. Twenty days? No, not really. It's good enough. Oh, that's where you can get more bullets. Actually, give that give that to Don Juan. Can we get the patrol out to Valor Shield? Nah. Get one to all two Marleons though. Let's give him the other set of bullets. Two-handed sword in bullets, yeah. I do need to pick up a lot more recruits, though. Probably every village is gonna be looted right now. Army spotted near Weller Shield. Why am I not surprised? Well, it could mean that it's um, or should I switch it to Talon Castle actually? Let's see who owns Talon Castle. And how much money he wants for it. Harry Breaks, Harry Bridges. Let's see if we can get it. If we can find any of our lords here. It'd be good if I knew where the fuck they are. Of, uh, where the fuck is it? Harry Bridges, right? Am I fucking blind? Okay, they're in the shard territory. Maybe I can grab Fletcher for myself too.
Okay, now finding them. They're not besieging that. At the high expeditionary force, no. God damn it. Oh, there he is. Nice. Talon Castle for Valor Shield. Okay, he's asking only for two and a half, two, 2,900. Yeah, I just became a vassal. Uh, so we can uh, start a knighthood order. That's basically it. Now you can make a, knighthood, a custom knighthood order even if you are a vassal. I don't want to be a lord because that's going to take too long to finish that playthrough. I've done a couple of those already. Hunting hunters now. I have a playthrough up on YouTube with uh, I think the first one I, in the first one I made a you know official like Kingdom of Pandora. In the second one I played my modded version. Modded version of the game where I replaced the Baxter Empire with the Roman Empire. It's in the channel description if you want to check it out. Which I I'll get this. Get this. I firstly, I joined the backs, the Roman Empire. Then I betrayed it with a claimant. Then I betrayed the claimant and started my own. <laughs> that one took a long fucking time to finish. Where the fuck am I going? I need to go to Marleons. I got a couple of gems. I got the runic axe already. And I got a shitload of gold bars and some other goods. We got lots of stuff. Well, we got everything we need. More or less. One gem for the Knighthood Order and the other one for the... Uh, runic Plate Armor to upgrade it later on. Oh, shit. Rain Craftsman. Yeah, Bowmen are the best. I'll use them that much, though. In this playthrough, I want it to be a kind of Viking-ish. Kind of. Even though I'm using... Adventurers mostly. Or mercenaries. And I did... Uh, uh, finish up the Night to Daughter quest with the... With the uh, what are they called? The Kraken Cultists. So I finished that already. Let's see, who else do we need to send off? Him? Yeah, the Pand black Pandora archers are the best, except from the... What's their face? Silver Mist Rangers. They're the only ones better than them. Well, no, well I guess Noldor, right? But they don't count. And I guess you can make your own uh, Knighthood Order a bit better than them. Did our garrison literally transform from over there? It did. What the fuck? Usually I just join the Soul Mists since they have such good archers. Okay, everything's built here. Good. chance to spawn, right? I do want to place someone else instead of him. Yeah, training session, sure. Baggage train, sure. Yeah, I don't have any recruits yet. 
use reach to reach and him to recruit fee up Well, the chance of them spawning is so, so, so fucking low. I think I restarted the playthrough like four or five times for the game. And I still didn't get them. So I just said fuck it and just created them on my own. Although you need a very high relations, relations with Nolo, I think, to get them. Which is kind of a problem. Okay, so create an IT order. You can make the silver mist rangers. Yeah. Cracking cultists now. Oh, getting those is gonna be a pain in the ass. And I just disbanded a shitload of them too. Great new order. Yep. Um. Let me check if that's how it's spelled. Obviously, English ain't my first language. Okay, that's it. How are we going to call? A lunatic and in, in madman? Um, I think you can change these later so it's not going to matter much, right? much right okay we need to get someone training them instantly how the fuck do we do that again oh jesus christ i forgot no we need to talk to the guy over there Maybe I should leave some of this wine and the gold bars there, just keep a few with me. I actually don't have enough intelligence to read this book. <laughs> Forgot you need 15. Let's see. Alright, it's like this. We're not gonna improve the equipment yet. Oh, right, we need to talk to one of our companions to train them. Yeah, the Kraken cultists are pretty good. I don't like the fact that their sergeants are actually... Uh, well, skirmisher cav. Well, not really sk sk cavalry, basically. I think they were different before. Okay, let's get him to train them first. See, give him one more in Iron Flesh, one more in Weapon Master. Four weeks, yeah. Now I did put this all the way up. Let's see. Yeah, training for 18 hours. And we're going to bring the cost all the way down so I can finish this playthrough a little bit faster. I have another one planned for Prophecy of Pandor. I found the rearmament mod, which seems pretty cool. Adds a bunch of stuff into the game.
Right, now I need to figure out which troops I'm gonna use for the garrison. I'm not gonna keep those in there though. What can he do? Use guns? I already gave him a gun. And two sets of bolts. Uh, bullets, not bolts. The farmers. Just take all of these out, actually. Is that what you mean? Him using guns? Here's my house cars, and I'm gonna put those in. Heavy Axeman, sure. Yeah, he... He doesn't have that much proficiency in firearms, though. If you look at it. Only 200... Well, 296 so far. Give him one in those and bring up his athletics. I was debating on like giving my knighthood other guns for the sergeants or the knights and making the sergeants just you know rush the enemy. Yeah, he only has 300 so far in firearms. Which is bad. Well, I mean, it, you know, it's decent. Because guns. You know, guns. I mean, guns. <laughs> Who doesn't like guns? Let me... What do I... Yeah, I need to dump troops into the garrison. Which ones, though? Train militia, can we... Upgrade them here, yes we can. Light skirmishers. No, I want them to be skirmishers before we drop them in. And the axemen. What else do we have? Yeah, he does need bullets at the beginning. But you can find some in Wallenberry, in the hidden chest. Wallenberry, and you can get uh, and you can buy a set out of your knighthood order stronghold. So as you can see, I got two on him right now. Two sets of bullets and a sword, because he comes with a gun. I think the bullets do regularly spawn in your United Order Stronghold, so you can get them easily that way. Even for yourself. Well, I'm not sure about the guns, though. I don't think they spawn anywhere. Let's get rid of these. Jesus Christ. Let's see, can he give us something? No, oh, he can't give us any more troops. Yeah, Wallenberry. I'm not sure where you can get the guns. That I have no fucking idea. Actually, let's dump all the Fierce Vein elites in here for now. Where the fuck are they? Still not gonna be enough. Yeah, nowhere near enough. I got to go pick up some more troops. Now look at you, you piece of shit. 
I have a shitload of guns too. I got like, well, I had like 60 of these arquebusiers. Yeah, the Barclay guys have the guns. So probably you need to kill them. Or, well, I guess you can get them from the Knight of the Order too, if you want. Or the Knight of the Order. Poor farmers getting destroyed now. Yeah, I literally don't play any other mods, basically. Or native at all. I just play Pandor now. Although I did download the last days of Middle Earth. I'm gonna do that one at some point. And the Noaitas. I wanna do that one again. Hopefully it's not gonna bug out in the technology. The technology thing is actually gonna work. Block me, goddammit. Or it might be that you actually need to knock out a Barclay Lord, if there is a Barclay unique spawn, and talk to him to get the equipment like you do with Maltese, the Dread Legion. Might be like that. Yeah, you can go fuck you. It's not even worth picking those up. Alright, we need to train our guy here. And I stole the Knight of the Order one to come here in a patrol. Oh yeah, the Warhammer one is not too bad. It just feels like there's not enough stuff in it, you know. After you play Pandora, not, nothing is good enough after that. 50 bandits now, don't have time for that. Need to recruit troops and a shitload of them, shitload of them too. As for Parisno, it's really good with the quests. Although everything in that game is so fucking OP, it's even worse than Prophecy of Pandora in those terms. Well, Prophecy of Pandora now, not, not the older versions where you got your ass kicked. Constantly. Uh, if you could manage to pronounce your name, Skitlet Wister. Thanks for the follow. Okay, the three spear seer spawned again with the thousand troops. Never mind. Not gonna fight you now. I already beat, I think, all the armies. Actually, I didn't beat this Jatu one yet. Yet. The truce expired. And once we go to war, they're gonna attack my stuff immediately. Okay, we got seven nobles, not bad. Still losing money though. Adventures. Nah, we need to get rid of the mercenaries that cost too much. Right, I should check on these recruits because we can level them up almost immediately. Should 
pressure. I want to have 21 in everything. Then after that, just put points into intelligence. And use elixirs, I guess, for everything else. To increase the other stats. Because I think we're going to need more than 22 strength for the runic plate armor. Or we might have just enough for the lightest one, actually. Oh shit, we need two more points into intelligence or just one? Not sure. Two fears me recruits. Come on, give me more. Okay, five, that's good enough. Although we, we do have Igrim the Devourer on the field and he has one and a half K troops, which is fun. Iron Flesh at eight. Why? I usually leave all the intelligence things for the companions and just bump everything else up. I mean, you can get to all, all your stats up to 10 if you play long enough. Sell swords, nail. Knights of the Phoenix. No. I don't know why am I even looking at those. I just want Fears Wayne now. Grab a lot of them for the... Oh, what the... F okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, hit point in says that Iron Flesh is just useless because you can get a, a lot of, you know... Runic plate armor and all the other armors, they're just too good. But I kind of like fighting. Most of my playthroughs is just battle after battle after battle and after battle and so on. Constantly in battles. Okay, not gonna improve anything else. Grab some food, food while we're here. That can spoil. Actually, let's dump this in there. I guess, uh, like, Iron Flesh does matter once you run into the unique spawns and the dem demonic magnuses and all the other shit. That's in this game. After the no versus the normal enemies, not really. Send out another patrol just in case. Let me just check something. Okay, so we only got one village and the one castle. Eighteen right through. No recruit is 15 already, not bad. Okay, sure, let me go dump all these troops off. Ooh, can we get in there? And they're besieging my castle, of course. Let's help out the Noldor. We're really close to befriending them too. So I can actually get, well, we're a bit off the tournament part. Oh, what? Oh, we're fighting our own guys. <laughs> I'm your grandmaster, you bastards. Don't attack me. Mm, 
Well, you could, I guess. I think you can use the netherworld charger if you tell Maltese to give you the, you know, secrets of her armor. Some other ones. Can I get away from them? Yes, I can. Nice. You know, we have to go defend the castle. All their fucking army is there, too. Oh, this is gonna suck ass. Let's see how many is there. 600 troops. Oh yeah, pick him off. I can win against them on the field for sure. And if I somehow can divide them, that would be great too. Let's get the unique spawn to actually come after us, can we? Fuck now, bitch. But wait, I think you can. I definitely can get no low armor. Just can't remember how. You go on the wiki page. I'm pretty sure you can. Check it on here. I, th I think you can get the, the Noldor armor. Yes, you can. If you befriend the Noldor and win a bunch of their tournaments, you can actually get their the secrets to their armor after you talk to one of the guys on there in their castle. As for the heretic armor, I think you can get the ass. Yeah, well, you can get the ass armor. Yeah, I guess it's not heretics, but still. Bad save. I always like make two or three saves so I can get the kill back if I fuck something up. Maybe if you didn't start a new playthrough. If you didn't start a no problem. If you have a if you didn't start a new playthrough yet, you can go into you can see the customized prophecy of Pandor in the channel description. Maybe play through that on that one. With Romans of course. You might like it. You won't need any night with others or any other stuff. I make I made them a little bit OP. I'll just a little bit. Although it is hard to actually get the Praetorians and the Hoplites, the like highest tier troops. Takes quite a long time to rank them up to that. If you want to play something a little bit different. And it is a Pandora version 3.9.3, .3, so it's not the latest one. channel description you know the about page then in the panels down below below the information thing yeah in the information well, they're not Roman, they're just basically Bacchus, but changed a little bit. 
renamed them to the Roman Empire, added Praetorians, Hoplites, Archers instead of uh, crossbowmen, Equites, and Legionary Cavalry instead of the, you know, normal ones. No, no, I modded the game myself. To change the troops around. Well, I don't have a save file actually on that yet. But I can link you my YouTube channel with the playthrough on. On there. Just skip to uh, like one of the last episodes if you want to see the full thing. Playlists. Oh, where the fuck is that? Yeah, Prophecy of Rome. Maybe like skip midway to actually see the Romans in action once I get them leveled up a little bit. Maybe like skip midway to actually see the mute myself. And there's the link if you want to play it yourself. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it is. Wait, is it fucked up? No, it, it works. To so that link. It's so in the information page if you want to play that. And have a good night. Thank you for watching. Let's just stack now. Get rid of them. It's gonna take a while till we get to them. All of them. Yeah, see you later, Wister. Or some other stream. We have a playthrough going for Ben Lord with the Roman mod too. Empire Rising, something like that. Can't remember now. Can't get to them because he's behind a rock. Rock the good. Totally we didn't capture the guy, but fine. Okay, we, at least we saved our own castle now. Somewhat. How many skirmishers do I actually have? Let me actually move one of these down so I, can, I know which ones are which. Figure so, main recruits, yeah. Move all of these down. I 
Okay, so I do want to leave them at skirmishers. So let's reset that. Because you don't want uh, expensive troops in your garrisons. There's no point in it. They're just there to stall the enemy from attacking. Okay, so yeah, keep them with skirmishers. Have any more fears of wind troops? No. Okay, get some light infantry now. Axemen in the garrison. Let's see actually how much they cost. Cause that, that's the thing with the skirmishers. Take them. Thirteen dinars. Yeah, these cost double. That's why you don't really want them in there. No, that's right. Maybe I should just dump all my troops in here and just go around picking up more stuff. Yeah, dump all of those in there for now. Just go around recruiting. Let's leave. Let's keep the adventurers with us. We don't need some calf. Leave all those in there. Just move the, all these up now. And I got to remember to actually upgrade the troops as we get the upgrades in. Keep the ones we want to put in beneath her. Then screw it up and upgrade them. <laughs> 